What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, bringing you another video. Today we are going to take a look, or rather me, I am going to take a look at another concept video. Concept video of Windows 10 Sun Valley, which is supposedly the next generation of Windows 10, or the next generation of Windows, UI U-Haul and everything like that, as hinted by Panos Panay. Um, this concept is brought to you by Addy Visuals, that is the designer developer of this concept. He is on YouTube and I'll link him in the description box as well. So let's jump into it. Let's see how his work is. All right, so here is the video. Let's jump right in it. If you don't know this channel already, what I'm going to do in the video is I am going to play it once straight through and then I'll come back without rec without jumping back and forth. I'll come back and actually do the content portion. All right, so Sun Valley. Okay. That looks good. Redesign Action Center. Control things faster. All right, I'm liking what I've seen. Introducing compact mode. I wonder what happens there. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, it looks like Windows 10X. Consistent design. Is that files? I really want to pause this, but I'm trying to keep my hands away. Locking folders. That's good. It's like Samsung's locking folders. There you can lock it, encrypt the folder so no one else can see it. Drop to Addy Visuals. Cortana. Okay. Fluent. Nice animations. To open two emails at once. I don't know how that would work. Floating. Scheduled dark mode like Mac OS. I like that feature a lot. I really hope they implement it. Airplane. All the icons. Good. Concept by Addy Visuals based on real leaks, not genuine software. That's just true. This was his concept. It it looks really good. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lower the volume because it's kind of loud in my ear. And let's go back to the beginning and see what he has to play. Windows 10 Sun Valley. All right. So right there, you saw the initial animation right there. You see he lifts off the start menu and it moves to become floating. Now, this floating aspect is, you know, akin to Windows 10X, where obviously what their start is, is it floats. And so that's why he carried it through. He says, based on leaks, it carries it through. I believe Zach Bowden of Windows Central, he also showed off a potential leak of this Sun Valley version, and it has like a floating start menu as well. So let's keep going. This too. Right here, you have Good Morning Addy, AddyVisualsAtlet.com. It's got search integrated, in, inter, integrated inside the uh, start menu. I like that. I like that a lot. It looks, it looks really good. Um, I hope it comes to prime time because, like, one of the things I have annoyance right now is this this search right here. It's I know I don't understand why it's separate. I guess if you want to hide it, you can hide it just by right clicking and you can choose toolbars and get rid of different things, get rid of search, but like. I don't really like it being separate. I kind of like it just being all in it. So you open the start menu and it's just there. I would like that better. So I like that concept too. Uh, overall, everything is still pretty much the same and still familiar with whatever you're used to. I like that because Windows 10 is still very much a business oriented OS, unfortunately. Um, and so, yeah, unfortunately that's, that's how it is, but it has to be familiar and that's what they should do. Let's continue. Let me try that. There we go. All right, now we got a redesign action center. Boom. All right, so this redesign action center is again another thing that's akin to Windows 10X's action center, I believe, um, where sub uh, elements are divided. If I didn't, if I saw it correctly, and I think I should put a screenshot up. I'm gonna tell Future Me to put a screenshot up so you guys can see the comparison if I find one. But you can see that the Groove Music has its own music player screenshot or music player uh, little widget. That way you can pause and play things. I like that too. Even though on Windows 10 currently, when you use your volume wheel like this, uh, you can pause and play things up here. This kind of looks more like Windows 8 versus this looks like Windows 10. 
but you can still do that up there. Uh, let's keep going in. And then you got your other notifications for news, it looks like, uh, if you want to do that. Let's see. Control things faster. Uh, so you can choose your, your, let me go back a little bit. It says, control things faster. You select Wi-Fi, and it lets you bring up the Wi-Fi pane. Redesign settings. Settings starts looking like this here. Let's see. Compact mode will position the taskbar to the center. That's what compact mode does. It centers the taskbar. Essentially, taskbar X, again, if you haven't seen that video, I'm looking here because I got a screen. But if you haven't seen um, my video on taskbar X, that's like 50,000 views on it. Take a, take a look at it. It pretty much is what this is. Uh, it gets inspiration from taskbar X from Chris Anderson and just keeps it in the OS directly. One nice thing about having your your icon centered on your taskbar is that if you have a really big monitor like I do here, an ultra wide monitor, or even a widescreen monitor, super ultra wide, whatever, uh, you don't have to turn your head this way to find your icons. You can just keep your head straight and see all your icons right there. So that's pretty good. I don't see much of a difference in the settings. Keep going, introducing compact mode. So that's when you turn it on, it centers your icons. One thing that I don't understand why it's called compact mode, because it's still technically the same icons, but it's centered. So I don't know what the feature might be for that, but I like it so far. Let's keep going. And I don't know the difference between task view changing like that. All right. And it looks like it's adopting the Windows 10 start menu right there. Windows 10 X start menu. If I go back just a little bit, you'll see that this, this is pretty much the Windows 10 X start menu here. Um, I don't believe this is there. I think Windows 10 X only shows icons, uh, but the tiles, obviously, because it's Windows 10 full, it's not Windows 10 X, so it works. Keep going. Consistent design. All right, so this is File Explorer that he's looking at. Mm, okay, there it is. I just I was waiting for a File Explorer thing. This is something that I am, I don't know, I might be mixed on it right now because like this tab up here, I guess this is the tabbed interface that this guy envisions, Addy. Um, I don't like the border around it at all. I think I like more how Taskbar X handles it and other applications, not Taskbar X, how Files UWP handles it and stuff like that. I don't know if I like that. Um, it looks clean. I like where the downloads and trash can is, recycling bin is. I like them being out of the interface because those are things that you know, a lot of time, honestly, you probably don't go to your downloads folder or your trash can, or I keep calling it trash can, a recycling bin. You probably more just drag things into them or download things, and then you just click on the button at the bottom of like Brave or Explorer or whatever you use, and you open it. You probably don't go into your downloads folder, but I like it being down there. It looks it looks nice. It looks in place. I like the color because Microsoft for some reason is going blue with everything, so I guess it fits. Um, Renders, everything like that. Open local. This is your ribbon kind of area. Search files. Search files app. So he moves search from here, where it was on the top right, to the left. I think I still like where file where the search was on the file explorer. I like it being on the right. So I don't know how that would be. Uh, keep going. Oh, yeah, there's another thing here. So you got your cloud drives. You got shared, which is, I believe this is network folder essentially I'm not sure what share would be uh, files which is your file explorer even though it is file explorer um, and then OneDrive personal so I guess one thing I can tell Addy right now just by glancing at this, this is a, this is the longest scene in this video I promise is that I don't know if the I think it's too redundant to have OneDrive folder here and then have OneDrive personal here I think if you want to have more than one OneDrive and showcase it because it says OneDrive Addy's files and then I'm not sure if these are under OneDrive or not. I think these are under OneDrive, I'm not sure. But just name them differently, I guess. Say OneDrive Business or OneDrive, whatever the name is. And then something, it's, there's too much of the same OneDrive here. I think it should be one or the other. Uh, Google Drive, that's fine. Maybe iCloud Drive if you use it like I do. And this is your external storage, that's fine. But the files part here is the part that kind of throws me off. I feel like it should just say this PC. And, and then I have the drop down for all the files folders that you have under your this PC. That works perfectly fine. Um, keep going. Locking folders. So locking folders in the file explorer that this person has, and there it is. 
This is kind of like if you have a Samsung phone, for example, and you can lock, it's called secure folders. And that way, if you're, if you're, if you're certain pictures and videos, you don't want anyone to see them. You put them in a secure folder that's encrypted. No one else can see them unless they have the encryption key. And that's it. This, I don't know why it isn't in there. I believe, I don't remember if it's in there, but this, I don't know why it's not in there. Um, I hope Microsoft puts it in there if it isn't already. I don't use the feature if it is in Windows 10 already, but it's a nice thing. I know we have BitLocker encryption, that's for sure, on Windows 10 Pro like I have. So that will be a nice thing to have for consumers to have is locked folders for people who share uh, one uh, username per PC instead of making different user accounts. This would be a nice thing to have. Keep going. Smooth animations. Obviously, we have nice drag animations. This, I don't understand. Uh, I guess Cortana is thinking that if you click on your picture and you drag it, the suggestion that Cortana might think is you want to drop this picture to the iPhone. I don't even know how that would work because iPhones barely are supported on um, your phone. But maybe if they find some support, you can do that. I would prefer this specifically then since iPhones aren't supported currently that well. I prefer them to actually say... Uh, send to or drop to uh, Android phone or whatever name, Kwaku's, Kwaku's Note 10 Plus. I prefer to say that because iPhones, they don't have a lot of features on your phone for iPhone, it's not compatible. So keep going. But when it does work, it says Fluent. You click it, watch the icon closely for calendar. It moves and then you can do things, different colors. Let's go back because he moved it really quick when that happened. Locking folders comes to File Explorer. He moved it very fast. Uh, after this scene. Smooth animations. Alright, so he's got that. That's fine. Fluence. This is what I want to see. So closely, I'm going to pause it a lot. He's got the continuous uh, right click sub menu. Oh, okay. So he's got theme support. And then open two emails at once. This is the part where I don't really know what the purpose would be. Opening two emails at once. And there's not really much of a division for the emails. I believe it's the highlight is different, but I'm not sure too much. Uh, this is what he envisions a new mail app to look like. Um, I heard something, I think I heard something about a new mail app coming or an updated mail app coming. Um, I don't know the purpose of this kind of layout. I think I prefer side by side in terms of mail. Um, maybe it's because he only has one email, so it's throwing my brain off, but it's a it's a good idea to have multiple uh, emails open at once so you can kind of work with comp content between the two, but I'd probably say no. This uh, I, mm, I guess for the basic mail app for basic people like myself, I'd probably say no to this concept altogether. And maybe just say you can right click and open mail in a new window and that's it. So that way you can have two mail uh, so you can have two emails open at once. All right, next one, new task view. All right, so this is task view. You click that, that's the new task view. So one thing I see here I really like, you can see a clear thing here. I, I guess, is this dark mode symbol? Is this night mode symbol? He says File Explorer, this is in quiet mode. And then you can sign in. I don't know what that means with sign in. I don't know what this means. I can't really say much what sign in means in here. I'm sure Addy will tell me. Uh, new desktop, if you know task view, you can open up multiple virtual desktops and have like specific applications tied to both. Currently, you can add um, specific wallpapers to both, to different uh, virtual desktops and all that stuff, so it's pretty nice. Um, and then try the new quiet tabs feature in this new update. So what he's saying with quiet tabs is Edge just released, I believe Edge 98 or Edge, Edge 89. They just released uh, quiet tabs, I think in the dev, dev channel, whatever it is. And basically, or sleeping tabs is what they called it. Basically, if something isn't being used for a long period of time, it goes to sleep so it doesn't eat up as many resources on your computer. I love that feature. Um, I don't know how it would work with applications necessarily because when you're doing an, using an application, you might still constantly go back between it on PC at least. But it's a nice addition if he can pull it off, if Microsoft would pull this off. And the layout overall looks really good on this. It looks nice and fluent and good. I love it. Even the Windows logo that looks uh, fluent too. It looks kind of 3D. Might be a love-hate thing, but I kind of like that too. Keep going. Oh, so there it is, your right-click menu. Uh, it is floating as well compared to this right-click menu where it's attached like that. I am using Windows, uh, I am using MyTube. Let's see, schedule dark mode. It's essentially 
it's essentially that whole thing that um what's it called mac os has like i said that you can set a certain time most platforms have it now where it automatically goes to dark mode throughout the whole os i like that good and then different app icons is what he's showing off the latest app icons all new icons sun valley so far i can say bravo i'm a person who comes from an arts background even though i cover technology on here and I like seeing this kind of stuff here. I love seeing what people's vision is. I like Addy Visual's concept for Sun Valley in that it cleans up windows really well. It continues this current design language, but it's not radical. It's not a radical shift. He seems to know and understand that this OS should not change heavily because people will be frustrated if it changes too much. This redesign and or refresh is still familiar this thing is still clean but there's some things that have changed and moved around but they're still easily able to be found i like that in this thing um there is some redundancy in this concept but i think overall it's probably one of the better concepts that i've seen um so to close out this video so it's not too long uh if you're also a concept developer or concept designer or a UI designer, UX designer, and you've done anything like this, definitely shoot me an email that you do it. Let me know where you do it at. I would love to check it out in a future video. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you all and take care.